When you first start using Excel, one of the first things you'll notice is that the mouse iterations change depending on where you move your mouse. So you'll notice here that my default state for my mouse is this white plus sign, and that is going to be allowing me to select all of my individual cells. So if I just simply click and drag, you can see here my default state allows me to select all of my cells. Now there's a number of other different mouse iterations allowing me to, for example, select an entire column. So if you'll notice, I move my mouse over the letter A, the letter B, the letter C, etc. My mouse now turns into this black arrow pointing downward. If I go over here to the far left over my rows, you can see now my mouse turns into an arrow pointing rightward. So if I click on the letter A, you can see I'm now able to select my entire column. Now if I click and drag going across, I can select several columns. Now likewise, I can do that now with my rows. You can see here if I click on the number two, I now select the entire row. And of course, when you select it, you can affect it. Now let's go ahead and take a look at if I move my mouse between the columns, you can notice here there's a little border right there. I'm now gonna get a double-sided arrow, and that's gonna allow me to adjust the column width. So if I simply click and drag now, you'll notice I'm now gonna be able to make column A wider. I can go over here and click and drag to the left. I can make column A a little more narrow. And you can see I can do that with any of these. Click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. And a nice little shortcut, if I were to double click on this, I now am able to do an auto fit on that column. And you can see here it's not too big and not too small. It's a perfect fit for me. Now you'll also notice that there's some other ones. Now if I now move my mouse over here to H1 and I just hover my mouse over the edge of any part of the active cell, I'm now gonna get this four-sided arrow and that's gonna allow me to now move my cells anywhere. Now if I simply click and drag now, you'll notice that my mouse now changes to an arrow but I'm still able to move it. Click and drag this way, click and drag that way. And I can do that with multiple cells if I want to. Now all I need to do is move my mouse to any part of the outside of the selection, it could be the right, left, top, or bottom, and just simply click and drag, and I can even move multiple cells. I'll go ahead and move that back. And then finally, let's go ahead and talk about the autofill handle. So I'm gonna go ahead and click back on H1, and I'm gonna zoom in that right there in the lower right of my active cell, I get this little green box. That is my autofill handle. Let's say, for example, I wanted to have all the same dates going down from H2 all the way down to H5. I'm gonna go ahead and type out 6-1, and you're gonna see there's June 1st. And then I'm just gonna click on June 1st, and then move my mouse over here to the lower right. And I'm gonna get this little black plus sign, and I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag down, just like that. And now you're gonna see how it allows me to then autofill down. And now you're gonna see I get this autofill options option box. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And I'm just gonna say copy cells. And just like that, I've now used my autofill. So you're gonna see that there's a number of different mouse iterations and Excel is constantly communicating to us what they're going to be, but in subtle sort of iconographic ways. Okay, so go ahead and try those out and we'll see you soon. What was your favorite part of this tutorial? We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Visit the Simon Says It channel, explore our videos and training sessions, and decide what you want to learn next.